Hello everybody, welcome to the Victoria Building. My name's Mr Ellerbrook and I'm here today to welcome those Year 2 children who will be joining us in Year 3, in Key Stage 2 next year. You'll be coming across from the Foster Building to our building, the Victoria Building. And life's a bit different in the Victoria Building because it's an old building with many staircases. So my job today is to take you on a tour so you can understand what life's like here. It's a little bit different, so I'm going to show you pictures and I'm going to talk through the hall, the yard, your classrooms, the corridors and the staircases so you understand what it will be like when you're in Key Stage 2 and moving around this different building. Hopefully that will answer some questions you may have and also help you because you weren't able to do that this year because unfortunately the school has been closed for Year 2 children. Before I go on to the tour, I've got two more jobs for you to do after this video is finished. I'd like you to go back on the Learning Hub and find two more videos to watch. One video is from your old Year 2 teacher who is sending a message of farewell. And another video is your new Year 3 teacher explaining what life is like in Year 3 in more detail. Really important things for you to watch. It's been a real shame that those things haven't been able to happen this year because of the school closure. But hopefully those videos will also make you feel better about leaving Year 2 and joining Year 3. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's get on with the tour. So let's start by looking at the outside of our beautiful Victoria building. This is the view you will get when you arrive at school on the first day and just in front of the building here near those two grey doors in the corners there is where you will line up to come in. If you look very closely at the top of the building you get a clue as to how old it is. It was built in 1898 so the building is 122 years old and it really is beautiful. On the yard, there are two activities I want to talk about first. The reading area and the trim trail. Let's look at the trim trail first. You've got one of these in Key Stage 1 as well. But this one is for older children, so it's a little bit more challenging. It's great fun and the children love playing on that at, key at lunch times and break times in Key Stage 2. We've also got a special reading area under the trees. Where there's tables and chairs where you can sit and read quietly or you can talk to your friends and it's lovely to have that quiet area at one side of the yard. On our yard we also have a football pitch and basketball hoops. You can see them there in red. And also here's a picture of one of those grey doors I was talking about a minute ago. And you can see just in front of them we have the painted numbers on the ground so you can line up when you get collected at night time by your parents or when you come in in the morning or when you go in and out at break times and lunch times as well. So when you enter the building through one of those grey doors, you'll come to the staircases and you'll use either staircase two or staircase three and it'll be staircase two most of the time and this is what it looks like from the inside. You're gonna go all the way up to the top floor. You're lucky because you've got the top floor which is shared with, with year six this year. If you're on staircase three at any point, you might notice this little door halfway down. It's my office where I'm talking to you from right now. So be careful if you're on the stairs because I'm often around or nearby as well. So the year three and year six corridor on the top floor. This is where we've got some of our lovely new classrooms. You can see we have reading areas at each end where our uh, teachers listen to children read one to one. And we have Year six up here as well. Now they work very hard for their SATs and it's a really good place for year three and year six to be together because year six are very responsible and look after our younger children as they come into Key Stage 2. So it's a nice way for you to get used to life in Key Stage 2. Look at the classrooms. If you're in Miss Blackburn's class, this is what your room will look like next year. 
Don't worry about the tables, they'll be different to that. At the moment, when I took this photograph, they're set up for the year six group that we have in school at the moment. The tables get moved around and you sit in groups normally. It's a lovely big room, one of our biggest rooms on the top floor, um, and uh, it's at one end near the staff room. If you're in Mrs Price's or Mrs Tyler's class, this is what your classroom will look like. It's next door to Mrs Blackburn's class, slightly smaller, a little bit of an L shape to it, but we can fit 30 children in there comfortably. And uh, it's a lovely bright room because of all those windows you can see in the picture. If you want to look at these pictures in more detail, just pause the video and then you can have a good look at the pictures. You can see in this picture the tables are set up kind of like they will be when you come back in September. Let's move on. If you're in Mr Latimer's class, this is your classroom, one of our brand new classrooms actually. Uh, again, the tables aren't set up as they will be when you arrive. They're set up for our year sixes at the moment. But this is the room that you'll be in. It looks, those windows look out onto the yard down below. Also on the top floor, we have a very special room, something you haven't had before in Key Stage 1. It's our computing suite. We've got 31 computers in there, enough for one each. And they work very, very well, and they're the latest technology. You can also see at the back, we have iPads for children to use in the classrooms. So this is on the top floor. It's shared between all children in Key Stage 2. So sometimes Year 4 and Year 5 come up and use this room as well. Here are the toilets in year three and also the cloakroom. This is where you will take your coat and your PE kit and maybe your book bag uh, when you come in in the morning. Uh, the toilet's very similar to how it was in Key Stage 1. We have the two rooms for the boys and the girls and they're in the same area as the cloakroom. This is just down past Miss Blackburn's classroom and past the staff room. Let's make our way back down the stairs. Let's imagine we have an assembly to attend. Now you have two or three of these every week. This is where they will happen, in the hall. It's our lovely big room, the biggest room in the building, but unfortunately not quite big enough to fit everybody in, in Key Stage 2. So we have different assemblies for different year groups. Um, but it's a room that you might also have some PE lessons in, or maybe do some activities or clubs in there if we have visitors in school. Um, also, sometimes used at lunch times as well for pat lunches. The canteen, though, is where most people will have their lunch. And this is the room where the tables and chairs fold down. And on the other end of this room is the kitchen where you will line up and get your dinner from. Uh, if you are a pat lunch, you will come in and sit down at one of these tables with other children who have a pat lunch and eat your lunch there. So that's pretty much the end of our tour, really. You can go from the ground floor back out of those grey doors onto the yard, and that's where you would be picked up at home time. So all that's left for me to say is I hope you have a lovely summer. Um, looking forward to seeing you all in September. Don't forget about those, those extra videos you need to look at on the Learning Hub, and please keep going onto the Learning Hub to access the, the PowerPoints, and the learning projects and all the activities that are there every week set by your year two teachers until we break up in July. I hope you found this useful and see you soon.